Hey you guys, I'm Marta Geek. In this video, I have an unboxing and review of the Quantum Access. This is a fanless Windows mini PC stick with LAN port, and this is from Azul, which was sent to me so I can try it out, make videos for you guys. So this is sponsored by them. Now keep in mind, I already used this product for almost a week already, and uh, I like always I always put the product right in back into the box So that way you guys can see what to expect when you get the package in your hands now keep in mind This has a full Windows 10 operating system already installed It has the Intel Intel Bay Trail quad core up to 1.83 gigahertz 2 gigabytes of RAM, 32 gigabytes of internal storage, but it also has a slot for a micro SD where you can add a whole bunch of more gigabytes if you want. And of course, these right here are the dimensions. This is a very small device. And of course, here you got the website, which I'm going to leave a link in the description. That way you guys can see or read a little bit more into this product. And right here you have uh, images of the device on both sides and the LAN port port. So let's go ahead and open this right here. The package is very simple. There is not too much to it. Here we got the instruction manual, which is very simple. Like you see here, this is the only thing that it has. Uh, these right here are the con uh, the ports of the device. You got the LAN port, you got the USB 2.0 port, power input, power button, and SD card reader. That's it. And of course, you got some other instructions here on how to uh, adjust the resolution of the screen. Here you got some precautionary um, advice. You know, this gets hot, of course, when you use it. And that's it. So here is the product. Let's go ahead and take it out of here. We got. So here, of course, you got the power adapter cable, which is around six feet long, which is not bad. And of course, there's a micro USB cable. And here's the PC stick. Like you see here, it has a very cool design here on the top and on the bottom. I like these patterns right here, and it feels very, very good when you're holding it. Uh, keep in mind, it has this hump right there. Um, and the reason, of course, it has that hump right there is because it has a LAN port, uh, which is always, always going to be faster than using it wirelessly, especially if you're one of those that upload videos to YouTube or to other website, or you have like large projects or files that you transfer in your um, um, access network. Uh, this is going to be a lot more faster than using wireless. Um, over here, it has a little hole right there, which is an LED that's inside there. Uh, when you plug it in, it's going to be like red and it changes from red to blue depending on, on the status of the device and how you're using it. And here, of course, is the antenna. You see here has the antenna. You can adjust it to whatever angle you want. And right here, you have a micro SD slot. Of course, this has a two, 32 gigabytes of internal storage, but you can add a lot more gigabytes right here as well. Of course, this goes connected to your HDMI port on your TV, and it is powered right here. This is where you're going to connect the power adapter, uh, which is going to give power to this so you can actually use it. Um, here is the power button. So once you plug it in and you plug the power, you just tap right there and it will turn on. Um, over here, you got the USB port, which is 2.0. Keep that in mind. It's 2.0 USB port. Um, of course, here you could plug in a keyboard. You could plug in a gamepad. You could plug in whatever you want. A USB hub as well, because on this video, I'm actually going to be using this USB hub from Quirky. Bump. <laughs> you can connect it like that, like you see there. And add some more stuff there but of course I wouldn't be adding uh, like a lot of things that requires power because uh, that would not work so other than that that's it this is what you're gonna get on for this device uh, like I said before this is a Bay Trail quad core processor that is up to 1.83 gigahertz 2 gigabytes of RAM 32 gigabytes of internal um, it already comes with Windows 10 inside of it so you don't have to re-download or if you don't have to download anything um, this goes for around $139 remember this is has the LAN port 
that's why it's a little bit more expensive and the quad the processor is faster than the cheaper one that's available on amazon they also have a bundle which includes this and it also includes a the logitech k400 keyboard i think it is the one with the the keys and the touchpad um, and it goes for around 140 but that's with the cheap version that's with the 89 dollar version stick uh most likely they're gonna have a, a bundle with the stick with the keyboard but i'll leave a link in my description as soon as they do that but other than that guys i'm gonna go ahead and start um the setup already so you guys can see how it works on the tv so once you plug in the stick to the tv and power it on you're gonna have to go through the initial setup just like any other pc when you get it out of the box uh, because this is of course a pc so you're gonna have to sign into your microsoft um, account if you have one or you can create one and just follow the on-screen uh, instructions which is very very easy to follow and it's gonna be very familiar if you ever use a computer before so let's go ahead and log into Windows 10. Um, here, like you see, this is the keyboard that I'm gonna be using. Um, it has an RF receiver, which is connected to the PC stick using the USB hub, like you see over there in the corner right there. It also has a, a USB stick as well. That way I can access some more data or uh, pictures and videos as well so let's go ahead here and start logging in uh, one thing that of course i recommend everybody to do is to always use your windows or your microsoft account that way all your settings all your wallpapers and all your and all the configuration can sync over to your new device which is the uh, pc stick that we're using here so here for example let's go ahead to the start menu right here uh, like you see we have access to all the applications right here just like on windows 10 um, here you have access to the file explorer as well like you see there uh, i double tap there so we could go ahead full screen there uh, right here if we go to uh, this pc right here which is right here right there you can see that we have um access to the hard drive and we have access to the U my, uh, usb drive that's connected to the hub right there uh this is 32 gigabytes like i said but since uh you you, you know you have to deduct the operating system and all the extra app it goes all the way down to i think like 22 gigabytes available but you can still um plug in or put a, a micro sd card in the slot available as well um, here, of course, you have access to Cortana as well, which uh, I really, really like to use Cortana. Uh, we don't have a microphone here, which uh, that's the only negative thing I would have to say is that since we're using this, we don't have a microphone. So I could say like, hey, Cortana, uh, we can't do that. But we can go ahead and type here if you need, like, for example, anything like pizza like pizza places around you, you just search around, boom, and just is you're gonna get results from Bing, which is pretty damn cool. That's that's a cool, awesome feature to have. Let's go ahead here to show you guys. You also have access to the store, the Windows store. From here, of course, you're gonna be able to um, download and install applications. Uh, you see here, you got applications that you can install. You have games that you can install and movies you can rent movies from here as well um here of course you have access to the multi window you click right there like see you have access to this multi window here you can switch there to one device uh window and open it up so and over here of course you have access to all the devices that's connected or active right now during your um usage of this system um, here you got the wi-fi network so right here is going to be searching for all the wi-fi networks uh, here you got the volume of course here you can up the volume here using the the screen or the keyboard and that's it you also have access to the notification just like on windows 10 so if you are familiar to windows 10 you're going to have access to all the awesome features from windows 10 you got the calendar here and you have the time right there which is pretty damn awesome uh, another thing to keep in mind is that of course this um uh, pc stick you could use it as a media uh device as well like to watch netflix to watch your hulu to watch your hbo's and all that um if an application is not available 
for example, if an application is not available in the store, you can always use the um, browser and uh, down um, log into the website just like that. And for example, on HBO, I think HBO now it's not available for um, Windows. So in that case, I would have to actually go to um, I would actually have to go to the website and watch it like that. So right here, for example, if I want to play a video, you can see the video there full screen. And of course, you can access control the quality as well of the videos. And here, you can go full screen as well if you want. Like you see there, um, if I press the escape button, you can go ahead here. Like you see here, I like this application for YouTube. This is the Hyper YouTube app. And of course, uh, another thing is that you can also access uh, Windows um, Amazon Prime. Because I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think uh, uh, Amazon Prime app is not available in the store. So if you want to play something from here, you can actually press right here where it says watch now. And press like, for example, watch start watching the episode right there on the TV. And it works perfectly good. I don't have problem whatsoever. Like you see here, look at that. Very awesome. You go full screen here. Once you go full screen, go ahead for the screen here. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> there you go you got full screen there you got access there very cool and of course let's go ahead and close this we don't want to get hit by any copyright there you go i also have installed plex uh the plex that i'm using here on the pc stick it's the home theater version i think there's two versions if i'm not mistaken so I'm using this version right here, uh, which works pretty damn good here. I don't have any problem whatsoever. Uh, I could browse through my network. If I have my my movies and my computer, I can access it, access them from here. And I could just go ahead and play it right there. I can see the resolution of it and all that. So also another thing to keep in mind, if you don't like Plex, you can also install Kodi and use Kodi instead of Plex that also you could do that. The other thing that you can also do here is work on your projects. Like if you're working on a PowerPoint, PowerPoint, you could do that as well here. Um, here, of course, I'm using uh, the PowerPoint from on the online version. And like see here, I can go ahead and access all this right here. Um, if I wanna see my project, I'm just go ahead and play it right there and I can launch my PowerPoint. This is the online version, but like you see there, it works pretty damn good. So um, yes, you can also install the um, full version of Word, PowerPoint, and Excel and start working on those documents here on this uh, PC stick as well. You could do that too. Um, but right here, I'm using the online version because that's the version that I actually use right now. Uh, you can also play video games here. Um, yes, you can uh, launch Steam right here. Let's go and launch Steam there. I think Steam already launched before. There you go. Uh, so here you get access Steam Big Picture Mode. It's going to Big Picture Mode. There you go. This is the Big Picture Mode of Steam that actually looks like a like a console, like you see there. But of course, if you're gonna play video games from here. I do not recommend playing like those hard, these hardcore games, like for example, The Witcher 3 and games like that. I wouldn't be playing games like that on this device. I would definitely be playing like this game right here, Rogue Legacy, games like that, that are small indie games. Yes, those are, those games are possible to play on this device. Remember, this only has two gigabytes of RAM, okay? And a lot of the ga these games require a lot more than two gigabytes. So that's the thing you have to keep in mind. Um, here is my library. I can access my library here as well. And another thing you can actually do is um, link your gamepad uh, via Bluetooth to your to the Windows stick and use it wirelessly as well. Uh, but other than that, there's not too many, you know, hardcore games you can play here. And I wouldn't expect to play hardcore game because of the specs of this device. This device is not meant to play hardcore games. But uh, one thing that it actually does really good is play 
uh, Minecraft. Let's go ahead and launch Minecraft here. Let's go ahead and launch it here. Let's go Minecraft. There you go. I see there. Works damn perfectly good. No problem whatsoever. Uh, right here, I don't think I can go full screen. I don't know. Hey, dude. <laughs> so you see there. So like see there, you can actually play Minecraft here. That's no problem whatsoever, but I truly recommend using a better keyboard and using a mouse as well. Or if you have a keyboard with a bigger mouse pad, it would also be very beneficial. Okay, guys, and that's it for this video. This was the Quantum Access PC stick from Azul, which actually has the LAN port, which becomes a very awesome addition when you're uploading very important files or big, large files as well. So, um, and like I said, the price for this is around $139. I'll leave a link in my descriptions. That way you can read a little bit more about this product before you purchase it. But... I gotta say, it's very, very impressive, and it's pretty cool to have be walking around with a full PC in your pocket. This is very, very cool. Um, so, thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments, and I'll try to answer, or anybody else in the comments will also help out and answer as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Till next time.